Now, we're moving out of the traditional osotos. We're doing a reaching slash hopping osoto, which is something you do when you have a bad angle. So let's say we're right against left and our stances are opposite here. And the leg, I wanna sweep as far away. I'm doing it from a traditional grip first. I'm stepping as far as I can, but I know it's not far enough. You don't have to switch your legs, it's fine. Make it difficult for me. So I can't, it's very hard for me to reach that from here, right? So I'm mean, pulling this in while pushing this thing back, okay? It's a little different than just pulling in here, but he has the advantage. I'm coming at this from a bad situation. So I'm trying to kind of break his posture while I'm reaching. I push and pull, and while I do that, I hook. Here, behind the knee. I know, I said don't sweep behind the knee. This is why it's called the hooking osoto, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to hop. As I hop, I start pulling in, and then I throw. So you only push until you can pull. <laughs> so, hopping, hooking osoto, let's just call it the hooking osoto, because we're not hopping yet. So I got my regular grip, left against right, his foot's far away. I can try and step as far as I can. I can just come in like here and just replace my foot. So you can do this, you can do that, either or. I kind of like coming out here. Just, it just feels safer to me. So <laughs> I'm turning his upper body so that way I'm more in balance than he is. I'm hooking behind the knee and as I hop, my arms pull in and then I drive left shoulder down, left leg up. And as I'm driving, I'm sliding down the knee. Can't really tell. Switch your stance. Oh, yep. So when I'm driving, it's sliding down like this as I'm lifting, okay? So this is happening with hands. I'm going to, this is happening with the feet as I'm hopping. While this is happening with hands. And now I'm turning. Okay, that is uh, hopping, hooking, Lozano. <laughs>